Hey you guys, I'm Alexandra Harbushka, founder of Life with Herpes. Today we are gonna talk about what it feels like both physically and emotionally to be diagnosed with herpes. I've been getting a lot of DMs, a lot of questions in our support group, a lot of questions uh, here on YouTube from you guys about what does it feel like physically and emotionally to be diagnosed with herpes? Because they're similar yet completely different, different things going on, right? No one will ever forget, I know I will never forget what it felt like to be told, whether it's a phone call, whether you're in the doctor's office and the doctor tells you, whether it's an email, all of a sudden to look down on an email or here on the other side of the phone, you have herpes. It is absolutely paralyzing. It is deer in the headlights moment. All of your dreams are crushed and you feel like, how did this just happen? So not to mention you are physically in pain at this point, right? Um, for a lot of people, they experience flu-like symptoms, whether that's sore throat, whether that's swollen lymph nodes, whether that's flu, whether it's just overall body aches, just overall not feeling well. Not to mention, if it is genital herpes, you may have swollen genitals. The area might feel almost like hot spot, um, like, like nerve pain. I like to use the example if you were to snap a rubber band, that's like a, a hot nerve pain. Um, if it's oral herpes, you know, it might be hard to open your mouth. There might just be like so much pain in your mouth. Um, what else physically? I know it's really hard to sit down. I know like when I had my first outbreak, I had to like ease into it to sit down. Jeans were totally off. <laughs> like that was not even an option for two weeks. I was in so much, I just wore like sundresses. Not an option for jeans. So yeah, it's extremely, extremely painful, but typically with an antiviral, getting that in your system um, and just your body will naturally heal it within about two weeks, can take three weeks, but that pain, does eventually go away, the sores go away, the outbreaks go away, and it will eventually go away. The problem is we now have this emotional pain, right? So we may be feeling betrayed. We may be feeling bamboozled. We may be, I mean, I think betrayal is a huge, I mean, that's like a huge one, but anger, feel, feeling like a loss. Like now I'm someone different now that I have herpes. Um, like your heart is bleeding. Um, just overall, just just emotionally scared, um, hurt. I think I've covered some of these big ones. Lost, I mean, it just, I'm sure you have other adjectives you could throw in there. And this is what makes it feel so paralyzing to be diagnosed with herpes. It's not so much the physical pain, yeah, whatever, that goes away eventually, right? But em emotionally, we are stuck with this I like to refer to it as the Eeyore phase. As we know, Eeyore, who's in Winnie the Pooh, he's the character that's just kind of like, ho oh, hum, I'm just, okay, I'm here, guys. You know, um, he has the rain cloud over him. He's always in like the gray area of just, mm, okay. And that's what it feels like emotionally. You're like in this fog. I know I was there for two years. And so that's why I've created this content. That's why I have the Life with Herpes community. That's why I have all the social media content out there so that we can educate ourselves, just like you're doing right now. You're watching this to educate yourself. And that's, that's probably one of the most important things you can do to get out of the Eeyore phase. I don't want you to be stuck there. I don't want anybody to be stuck there. I've heard so many people who have lost time or missed out on life experiences because of this diagnosis and I don't want that to happen anymore. So what I'd recommend doing, the most important thing, obviously you're doing it right now, you're educating yourself, but I think the most important thing is to find a community. Find whether it's it's somebody you know or whether it's of course Life with Herpes community, that's my favorite. There's a lot of communities out there, but Life with Herpes, that's why I created this so that we could educate we could give virtual hugs, sometimes physical hugs. Um, a lot of us have become friends, um, but it's basically a hand-holding community to educate um, and allow us to get through this. I want you out of the EUR phase and back to your normal, beautiful life because this is not worth like being an EUR. We can have our days totally, but like I don't want you to be stuck as an EUR. All right. 
So I have it linked somewhere for you to join the Secret Society. It is our online community. We have virtual calls twice a week. It is um, a really active chat group with people from all over the world. It's really cool. It's very like touching for me to see that as well. So it's linked for you. I'd love to see you there. Keep asking your questions. I reply to them via video. I'll reply to them, whether it's a DM, all of that. The, the, the answers will be there for you. And let me know what content you wanna hear because I want to make it, I wanna record it. All right, I'll see you soon in the next video and uh, we'll get out of this Eeyore phase. Bye.